This is CBC Music's Backstage Pass. Tonight, John Paul White plays an exclusive session from East Vancouver's BB Gun Leather Workshop. It uh, honestly, it reminds me of home because um, all of my all of my uncles are German carpenters, and so one uncle in particular, my uncle Henry, he's got a little uh, wood carving shop. It feels a little bit like my childhood. The difference between what should be and what so This is John Paul White covering Katie Lang's Constant Craving. Definitely a fan of Katie Lang. You know, I remember her first single. I remember her sound and her look, and I remember the way that her sound pissed off some of the country fans that I grew up around. You know, well, that's not country music. That's that's pop music. And I just remember thinking, I don't care what it is. That's just beautiful. trick is not to do it like she does. Don't, don't try. Don't even bother. You know, it, you have to reimagine it. I choose to go about it in, in a more um, pulled back, restrained kind of craving kind of way. That was John Paul White covering Katie Lang's Constant Craving. John Paul White is a singer-songwriter from Muscle Shoals, Alabama. He got started as a solo singer with Capitol Records before he was dropped just before his album debut. He became a professional songwriter on the Nashville circuit before getting together with Joy Williams to form the Civil Wars. Together, he and Williams won four Grammy Awards and international acclaim. Despite this success, the Civil Wars disbanded in 2013 and White returned home to Muscle Shoals, Alabama to steep himself in family life and work with artists on his single lock record label. And now, after nearly a decade since his last solo record, The Long Goodbye, John Paul White is back with Beulah. Here's John Paul White playing the once and future queen from East Vancouver's BB Gun Leather for CBC Music's Backstage Pass. Some unknown way that finally does the 
these songs to even surface. I was extremely happy being dad and being husband and being label partner. We got a little record label back home called Single Lock Records, which took up, you know, all of my time, plus a studio in the backyard. So I was producing a lot of those records. And so I was very busy. I was able to be creative and musical and, and not have to tour and not have to, you know, get back into the rat race and be as connected as I used to be. Not unconditionally, black subjects love the once and future queen. But as soon as I started writing these songs. And I can't explain this, I wish someone could, but till that point, I didn't care what anybody thought about what I was doing. I wasn't thumbing my nose at the world, but it just, the only things that mattered to me were right there within my view. With a man you're really looking for, one in all your dreams, someone that someone won't be me. Was John Paul White with the Once and Future Queen off his latest record, Beulah. Go to youtube.com slash CBC Music to watch full uninterrupted performances from your favorite acts. Coming up, the debut single off his latest album. The only people that got bullied where I grew up were the kids that had things. We all had a chip on our shoulder about you know, our, our statues. I always have had like an all shucks kind of demeanor about anything that's ever happened for me instead of just owning it. When Backstage Pass continues. You're watching CBC Music's Backstage Pass. Tonight we're on the West Coast with John Paul White from East Vancouver's BB Gun Leather. He cut his teeth in the industry writing songs on the Nashville circuit before forming half the band known as the Civil Wars. Now, a decade later, he's rededicated himself to his solo career with his latest offering. You get the lion's share. This record is called Beulah. The term Beulah is used in an endearing way around my house. I call my daughter Beulah, I call my wife Beulah. A labor of love, his latest album came together quickly. Inspired by the time he spent at home with his family, Beulah is unapologetically John Paul White through and through. Writing solo, it's hard to explain exactly how it felt because I hadn't written at all for about you know, two or three years. I had a deal with uh, EMI in Nashville writing songs for the country market. Everything was co-written. 
happen at that time. You just you made an appointment, you sat down at 9 o'clock, and at 5 o'clock you had a song finished, and the next day you did it again. Staying true to his southern folk sound, this record is almost meditative as White takes you through lessons he's learned over the years, exploring themes of heartache, redemption, and hope. And now, John Paul White on the debut single off his latest album. What So is a song that uh, I'm, I'm very proud of. When I grew up in the South, one of the things that you could do to really alienate everyone is to think that you're better than they are. You know, it's, it's one of those things that, I don't know if it's humility or if it's false humility, but if you try to pretend that your, your stature is higher than others, especially if you all came up through the ranks as working class, you know, barely middle class kids. The only people that got bullied where I grew up were the kids that had things. We all had a chip on our shoulder about you know, our, our stature, so we all linked arms and, and reveled in it. I fought that my whole life. I always have had like an all shucks kind of demeanor about anything that's ever happened for me instead of just owning it. The difference between what should be and what's so reach for the sky kneel down and pray or get in the dirt But don't you forget you climb in that grave But you don't get above your raising Cause it's one for the sober and two for the stone And three for the ready to get was John Paul White with What's So for CBC Music's Backstage Pass. Thank you. Now, John Paul White plays The Martyr for CBC Music's Backstage Pass. Keep falling on your sword Sing down a little more You said in bed 
Cause nobody's worth less than you It's really only fair You get the lion's share You know the score As soon as I wrote these songs, all I could think about was Will this connect? Will, what will people think of this song? Will, will this move someone? Will this change their life? Will it change mine to connect with them? And I can't really explain exactly why that's the case, but it just kept growing to a fever pitch to where I had to record them. So pile it on My back is strong Cause I'm the martyr Soldier on, cause I'm the martyr, the martyr. I bother those who just move on. They light it up and it is gone. Well, But that ain't me Cause I'm the martyr The martyr Keep falling on your sword That was John Paul White with The Martyr for CBC Music's Backstage Pass. Coming up, how this album had to come together. This time around, I kept trying to shove these songs down, shove them down, and when they came to the surface, it just was like a faucet, and I had to just capture it as fast as I could. When Backstage Pass continues. Welcome back to CBC Music's Backstage Pass. Tonight, Southern folk singer John Paul White plays an exclusive session for you from East Vancouver's BB Gun Leather. A seasoned vet in the industry, John Paul White has four Grammy Awards as a member of the folk country duo, The Civil Wars. The last few years, White took some time off from the music scene, reconnecting with domestic life and nurturing his record label. Here is John Paul White with Black Leaf. Ice, water, it down till it's gone. I saw her it down till it's gone. Oh well. Some way, second time around. So bitter, in my heart and in my mouth, she's a quail. But I guess we're both quitting now. Oh well, there's always 
second time around It was hard to breathe when she was holding me Now she's gone and I can get nowhere Those old butterflies, I guess they haven't died this time around, I kept trying to shove these songs down and shove them down, and when they came to the surface, it just was like a faucet, and I had to just capture it as fast as I could. Anybody else being in the room would have probably just get, gotten in the way of that, or steered it another way, or diluted it, but it just felt pretty cathartic to, to just let it flow straight to the page. What I'll do in the future, I couldn't tell you. I'll follow my nose and see where it goes. Show me where you took my love Please hurry There's a world It ain't enough Oh well There's always a second time Around Oh well There's always a second Thanks for watching CBC Music's Backstage Pass. Thank you to John Paul White for his amazing performance and to BB Gun Leather for sharing your space with us. If you like this episode, give us a thumbs up or comment in the section below. Hashtag CBC Music BSP to tell us who you'd like to see on next week's episode. Mm -hmm.